Hello everyone and welcome to my wardrobe! Actually you can't see much. Oh you can see a little bit there. Uh, just, uh right there. So after I'm um, spending two months in isolation at home and just looking at my wardrobe and all the neglected items and clothing, I feel like it's time for me to minimalize my wardrobe, de-stress it, especially when I've worn loungewear for the past 70 days. But yeah, I don't wear a lot of the items, it makes me feel guilty, it makes me feel uncomfortable because I've wasted so much money on these items and waste the fabrics and the labour that's gone into them. So I want to downsize it, I want to donate some items and I want to sell some items on Depop, eBay or Carousel. Let me know which one you guys use and hopefully someone can repurpose these items and show them more love. So yeah, if you've been looking and waiting and putting off cleaning out your wardrobe and depopping those items and donating those items, this is your motivation. This this is your sign to do it because cleaning and reorganizing your wardrobe is fun but when you actually have to like list the items and take photos of all of them and then list them one by one oh my gosh it could take me half a year to a year to actually do it so just a little walkthrough of my wardrobe yes um i'm very lucky to have such a big wardrobe we use most of it for storage so this is kind of like um paper bags like waters tissues etc this is like the medicine camera gear and this is stuff to donate um, and to sell. And then this side I have <gasps> my pride and joy, my beautiful knits. This is probably one of the more used wardrobes. I alternate depending on season. So I've pushed all like my summer tops to this side and I've got like jumpers and jackets now. And then up there, I've got the heavier jacket. So my wardrobe has this weird pulley system. It took me one year to figure out how to use it. So you pull it like that and then you can pull it down so then you can use it because the wardrobes are so high that it's like impossible for you to reach the very top. Opposite this wardrobe, we have like the kind of handbag and shoe area that's obviously been very neglected due to uh, COVID. Long time no see guys, how you been doing? This is pretty organized um, aside from that and this is where I keep my jewelry as well. This lesser used wardrobe is like dresses, jeans, pants, and on the top I have like puffer jackets and then formal wear. As you can see, it's like quite organized, but as I look at this right now, I know I don't wear one third of this stuff. So let's get started on this. This is an item that I've taken pictures of, um, tried to list it, but I never have because I only wore it twice. Um, and I thought it looked really cute with like a matching denim skirt, but the denim skirt kind of like broke or something, so I don't have it anymore. And now I feel really young whenever I wear this. It's like a really good thickness um, just to put over like in summer or spring, but I just feel like it's not really my style. I feel like it makes me look like I'm 14 years old. Okay, we are going to list this. We are saying goodbye. This is one of those like Instagram kind of trendy things like the really big chunky knitted cardigan but it's just like not practical because the sleeves are so open so they always get in everything and it's like really heavy but it's not either super warm because the knits are quite spaced out so a lot of air comes into it. I got this from like a Korean website. I don't even remember what it's called. Style Nanda? Nada? Nanda? When I was in Shanghai and I wore it like twice but it just hasn't aged well, like it's pilled really disgustingly. Um, and recently I got a chunky kind of cream cardigan from Zara that I absolutely love. So really there's no point in me having both these items. And I've had this in my wardrobe for like four years and I've probably worn it like four times. Oh, baby, running on a steam every day, be the same. Living like this, testing all my patience. Need a bit of you every time I drink like a love. Okay, so look at all these empty hangers I just got, and I've managed to call one, two, three, four, five, it's maybe six. I'm thinking of maybe keeping this. I think it just looks really drabby at the moment because I haven't ironed it, um, because I never iron my clothes. Uh, so we're gonna um, tentatively put that one back. We've got a blazer, a jacket, a knit. I'm probably gonna donate this one because the condition is not great. Um, like this one sleeve top from Zara, which is actually in great condition, but it just doesn't suit me and then this cute little top from cameo also i do try and make all the hangers around the same i know they're not at the moment because i don't have enough but these velvet ones are the best because they don't slip they're thin 
um, and I just think it makes things look more uniform. I do like to use the plastic ones that are just a little bit more sturdier for jackets, um, but yeah, like it just looks so much nicer when they're uniform and it makes your wardrobe look more organized. So unify your hangers because there's nothing that I hate more than opening a wardrobe and it's like purple and white and pink and yellow hangers and I'm like, mm. just put a lock, right? ain't just hype, just not overnight. I take my advice, I'm gonna do this right, feeling nice. What's the price? Yeah. Do not live in twice. Yeah. My fam on my spine, yeah. green be getting sliced like a lime. I never ever meant to be so sour, baby. Running out of steam every day, be the same. Living like this, testing all my patience. Need all right, here we go. These are, as I said, the holiday or extra shoes. These are like sandals and slightly heeled sandals. So the lower to the higher. Um, these are heels. Oh, forgot about this area. <laughs> I put the heels that were like a little bit too high because they had these bits at the top to fit into the shoe holders up here. Um, I guess we'll go into this. See, these types of like socks, black booties are my weakness. I don't know why I have so many of them. I depend on the way you send chills down my spine. Wanna give you all my time. Okay, we are on to the area of bags. There's not too much to do here. I keep this middle hanger area just for my jewelry and stuff. Um, and I display them in like these acrylic holders from Muji, which is actually really useful. But I try to organize it in like smaller bags, larger bags, and I don't know what's going on up there. I guess I do need to organize it. Hey, I'm a hoarder of our packaging and bags as well, as you can see. This is the very first bag I ever got, a little Oriton side bag. I remember using it and someone said I look like an old lady because it was like an old lady style. Guess what? It's back in style. It's back in trend now. It's actually an amazing condition. It's like super smooth. <laughs> I'll have to take her out again when I'm allowed outside. time last night the sun set and everything and it wasn't done yet and I had a pile of clothes all over the floor I cleaned up a bit good news is I have all of this plus some shoes and accessories to sell and I have a whole bag of stuff to donate I just have to finish off my um knitwear section today so today we are tackling this wardrobe which is like a half shoe wardrobe half this stuff the jumpers and stuff are pretty neat but i think i might just want to refold them a little bit as well and just like rearrange the colors a little bit if i could tell you i would honestly no secrets between us no it's just honesty even if it hurts even if it's just for today good fun it's over before it's begun so don't let me fall for a figment of my imagination don't be a stranger let me get to know yeah there's a kind of danger from this section I've managed to take out two pairs of pants and three dresses which is pretty good because dresses are like my most favorite thing ever and it's really hard for me to cull. I love every single type of dress and every style. Okay so I'm done. 
These two bags here are going for a donation. And all of these items I'm going to list on Depop. All of this, some of this stuff is brand new. Some of this stuff I've worn like once or twice. She's culling, she's cleaning. A lot of these items, like this dress, I've been umming and eyeing because it's like so cute. And I was like, I'll wear it for another event. But I just, I never did. But I know as soon as I sell it, I'm going to be like, gosh, darn it. I wish I still had it. But a lot of these items have just been sitting in a pile waiting to be listed. So now comes the tedious part that I always put off for months and months and months. Because usually taking photos of it, you have to have good lighting. You have to do it during the daytime and then taking photos of a whole bunch of them as well. And also like the hardest part is when you have to take photos of the item on you. I did that once. I got my act together, took photos of like 30 items of clothing on me. Not a single one of them sold. So I don't know if it just... It doesn't work better if you see the item on the person's body, but let me know. Do you prefer to see the item hung up or on the person's body? And which app? Because I've been tossing up and posting them across multiple apps is just so time consuming. Like it takes me so long just to list one item, let alone 30 items, times three platforms. That's 90 listings basically. The issue with eBay, it sells. There's a lot of people on it but uh, they take 10% listing fee, which is fair because you're using their platform. And then PayPal, I think takes three to 5%. So just say you sold $400 worth of items this month, you're gonna get like a fee come through for $40 and you're like, that's basically like two items of clothing I sold for free. Um, and then there's also a lot of like more picky, finicky things where people are like, what's the measurement of like the sleeve to the armpit? And I'm like, I don't even have a measuring tape. Or they're like, what's the material of the inside of the shoe? And I'm like, I don't know. So carousel is way more chill. And I think there are a lot of like your favorite Instagrammers and everyone on it. So it's more like young fashion, uh, but things take forever to sell on carousel. And a lot of people ghost to you, they'll be like, yeah, I'll take it. And then I'm like, yeah, so like, do you want to take it or not? And then they just never reply me again. Um, Depop, I found slightly better than Carousel in terms of selling rate, but they're like eBay again, where they take 10% of your listing. So let me know which one you use. I feel like everyone already has an eBay account, whereas Carousel and Depop, you have to go download the app, make an account. So it might be a little bit more tedious. Uh, let me know how your wardrobe clean out is going and how you change your mindset of like buying new items every season and buying new fashion trends every season, because I need a pet talking and I need help in that department. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video hopefully it was a fun activity and if you were doing it with me as well i hope your wardrobe is looking spick and span let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me my instagram is here my weibo is here my podcast is here if you want to listen to it it's mostly in a chongwen and a sound hell but i'll see you guys next time bye